is a really random look, but the other week I was watching Planet Earth and this lizard popped out and I was like, holy crap, that's such a beautiful, colorful lizard. And of course, right after that, I was like, that would be an awesome makeup look. So that's what I tried to do today. I tried to recreate that little cute lizard. I'm so sorry if you don't like lizards or if you have some kind of phobia. Is there a phobia for lizards? Probably, there's a phobia for everything. Anyways, I'm gonna pull up his picture so I can show you what I did. Okay, so here he is. As you can see, his body is mostly dark blue and light blue. So I tried to do that on the lid. I put dark and then light. And then I used his legs, his paws. I don't know why I like calling it his paws for the accent color. So his paws is like yellow green. So I did that for the inner corner and then orange. So I did that for that highlight right there. And for his like grayish body, I just used that for my lipstick. I used like a gray brown lipstick. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So I'm gonna be using that yellow color for my first transition shade and I'm gonna be using a fluffy tapered blending brush. And for the next color, I'm going to be using the shade Tangerine from the Ace Beauty Quintessential Palette. You can use the orange color in the Zulu palette if you want, but I just want to use the Tangerine because it's a little bit darker than the Zulu palette. So next we're going to go into that beautiful blue color called Juniper. It's beautiful but blends away really fast so you're going to have to use some kind of base. So I'm going to be using NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Cobalt. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner, my outer corner, and then connect it in the middle. Don't worry about it being messy, we're going to blend it out anyways. And I'm also going to use it all along my lower lash line. So we're going to pack on Juniper over all that blue and then we're going to blend it out. And we're also going to pack that on the lower lash line. I'm going to blend that all out with a small tapered blending brush. Okay, so we lost some of that tangerine color. So I'm going to grab a smaller blending brush and add some of that tangerine back. I'm barely putting any pressure with the brush. I'm just kind of using the tip just to really lightly blend that out. Going back in with that tangerine color right above it. And then we're going to go back in with that yellow from the Zulu palette, right above the tangerine. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut the crease right in the middle and I'm going to be using the Beauty Bakery concealer and the concealer brush. Okay, so I'm just going to blend out the edges with my finger. And for the lid color, I'm going to pack on this blue from the Zulu palette.
Okay, so I feel like we lost some of that dark blue, so I'm gonna add some more of that juniper color. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a tiny winged liner brush and draw that blue above the lighter blue. And then I'm gonna blend that out with the small blending brush again. Okay, so next I'm gonna be using the Suva Beauty Hydro Liner in Acid Trip. So before you use these, you need to spray it with some kind of water or setting spray. So I'm just gonna use some water. Make sure it's wet because it won't work if it's not wet. And I'm gonna put that right above the halo eye. So now we're gonna use that same orange for the waterline. If you are using this for your waterline, please don't spray it with an alcohol setting spray because that will probably sting. So just spray this with water. So like in the middle of his body, it's gray. It's like a silver gray. So I'm gonna be using Starry Nights. And with my finger, I'm just gonna pat that right in the middle of the blue. See, so there's just a little bit of gray like his body. Okay, and so for the green part of his legs, I want to say paws, let's just say. For the green part of his little paws, I'm going to be using Makeup Geek's Slime Light. If you don't have that, you can always use the green that comes in the Zulu palette. But I wanted to use the Makeup Geek one because his legs are kind of like a yellow green. And this one's actually a green, like it's green. See, so this is the Makeup Geek one and this is the Zulu palette one. See how this is? A little bit more yellow. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a pencil brush for that green. Okay, I'm just gonna spray my brush with some setting spray just so it could be a little brighter. I feel like a lizard already. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back in with that blue and just draw a line so it looks like more snake, lizard-like. Okay, so I'm gonna go put on some lashes and mascara and I'll be back. Okay, so we didn't really do the color of his body. It's like a gray silver color, so I'm gonna use that for the lips. This is NYX's High Voltage Lipstick in Stone. It's kind of like a gray nude color. And for just a little bit of shine, I'm gonna go back in with the Ace Beauty palette and the Starry Nights color. I'm just gonna use my finger and pat that in the middle. See, it kinda looks like his body. <laughs> okay guys, we're all set. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun creating this look. I think I'm going to do more like colorful animal looks coming soon. So I'll see you guys in those videos. Yeah.